Hello there, um, I'm going to draw a picture. Here I am with a pencil for a change, actually drawing it out because I thought, well, there's lots of detail in this. It's a Corvette. Um, I quite, I quite enjoy drawing things out with pencil. Uh, you'd kind of start everything with circles and then you sort of decide the planes, the angles afterwards. And then I, in this, I'm trying to keep it tidy and keep it crisp. So I'm using a bit of rubber to rub out as I'm going along so I can clarify the lines. But yeah, mostly it's just getting the bold, basic geometric shapes in first and then uh, breaking them up as you go. Once you're happy with the original proportions of the shapes, yeah, break them up as, as you go along doing the little bits then because, you, you know, you've got the broad areas, the right size and angle shape. I mean, if I held it up to the actual picture... I'd be wincing, but thankfully I don't really have to do that. Anyway, um, it's mostly about the Corvette, this picture, really. I think it's real focused on that. The, the person that's given me this picture, Commander Next Juna off uh, Reddit, they they were really specifically keen on the Corvette. They, they sent me a little, little bit of writing, which I shall read out in a bit, about the Corvette and the, the mission to get this ship. I haven't got one myself because they're really quite hard to get. You've got to be a rear admiral with the Federal Navy, and that's that's quite a lot of time spent working on missions and killing things and collecting things and doing, basically, in order to um, in order to be liked enough by them to actually get that rank. I, I couldn't tell you what I am, actually. I'm not that particularly. I've got a cutter, which is a, a similar level for the Imperial Navy, but uh, just don't seem to have found it as easy to... Uh, Frank with the Federation. I'm quite sure what that's about. But anyway, maybe I just don't love combat enough. This is a combat ship. It's a massive, great, big beast of a ship is the Corvette. It's um, it's really tanky and hard. And you put lots of armour on it. It's got seven hard points. Seven hard... I thought... Oh, actually, yeah. You look, if you look, I'm uh, painting this one because, again... I thought, well, I'll try and get a bit more detail on this because of the, the paint job that's on it. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, there's seven hard points on a Corvette. <laughs> Six on an Asp, though, to be fair. But unlike the Asp, two of those hard points are huge on the Corvette. The, they are termed huge. And then there's a large as well. That's a size three is the large. And then you've got the normal hard points as well. So it's actually a bit of a killing machine. This is a proper beast. You sort of sit there in in the in the Hazres, uh, just 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 with your finger on the trigger, just laying waste to all around you for as long as you need. It, I've seen it in action. I uh, it is you know in an NPC environment, pretty much pretty much indestructible as far as I can make out. You might get a little bit you know knocked about a bit at the edges, but it just yeah, it's a really solid ship. Anyway, so I thought it was a nice change this to try and do something that's a bit it's a bit different. I get so used to using chalk and it's so smudgy or pencil crayon and I, I just think, well I'll try a bit of paint. I've got these gold and gold and bronze paints and I don't use them very often because they're a bit trashy. But somehow it seems like <laughs> the trashiness seems to work. <laughs> no, because it's actually a gold paint job and I thought, well do you know what, the background is pretty pretty I want to say nondescript because it's quite you know you probably see that it's quite awe inspiring and graceful it's just a cloud covered planet in the background so I quite like the idea of the uh, of the the ship being quite punchy and you know in your face so that you can see it shining as it, as it kind of like jumps out the page at you. I didn't really manage to get the lights and darks on it. Should be able to do that with contrast if you're doing your job properly, but no. <laughs> um, yeah, the lights and darks, they should be a bit more defined than they are. See, I'm colouring in the black now. I've painted a viper, a, a little viper with this particular paint job on. I quite like it on the viper. That was a, a copper one. But it's the same style paint job, I think. This one's got a ship kit on. As you look at the sides, it makes it look a little bit, well, a bit less phallic, maybe. Not a lot less phallic. I mean, <laughs> it is the ultimate, isn't it, really? But I, I like the, the change to it because it's quite an angular ship otherwise. So it's got that kind of like broader front. I don't quite know what 
what you do with that maybe like kind of like hoover things up a bit more with it maybe i don't know it does it does absolutely no difference to your actual um fighting it's clearly cosmetic isn't it mm. this is me making a mask a mask to uh protect my picture whilst i put the chalk on and then not using it at all but absolutely no point making that drawing around it really carefully cutting it out didn't use it perhaps he used it once tiny bit it's completely pointless not to worry anyway i was i was going to read out commander next juna's piece of writing that they gave me about it let me find it here it is um they said it's the apocrypha this ship it's not just a ship but a labor of love she was a ship not given but earned not by gold rush or an exploit but true honest determination I worked as an escort for many, many hours helping my friends move cargo, fighting off hungry pirates just to earn every credit to purchase her, or fighting through Hazrez, dispatching hundreds or even thousands of pirates just to even get a chance to pilot this mighty beast. And alongside me the whole time was my co-pilot, Clay. He may be an AI, but he's been with me since the beginning, behind the controls of the truly dangerous grimoire the nickname given to the Condor SLF, also in the picture. It's been a long journey, but here we are. We've made it. Now, all we have to do is keep on fighting. Not because we need to, but because we choose to. Oh, that's rather cool, isn't it? I really like that. And it's, it's, it's quite nice because, obviously, when you've got a ship like a Corvette and you've got your little ship launch fighter there, you really... It, it it's more of an enjoyable experience. I I've really enjoyed. I, I've got a third lance I use occasionally, but I really enjoy using my gunship because I enjoy using the ship launch fighter. It adds something. It's more bit more depth to the combat. You know, releasing the fighter and there's the audio that plays the little clips of uh, them taking credit for your <laughs> for your kill in a in a smug way or telling you off. Like I need somebody to tell me that I'm doing something badly. Anyway. Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed doing this picture, actually, with its uh, dusty, dirty clouds on the surface of this. It looks like it might either be an ammonia world or a, perhaps a, a dingy looking water world, potentially. Anyway, right, that's it by the looks of it. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>